Many of you out there will recognise the name Mark Cuban. Personally, I first became aware of him because my girlfriend is addicted to Shark Tank and made me sit down and watch a few episodes. No, I'm absolutely hooked too. But for anyone watching that lives in the US, certainly I think Mark Cuban is a household name. He's a multi-billionaire investor, um, owner of the NBA team, the Dallas Mavericks, and essentially he's an all-around venture capitalist. Anyway, the reason why I'm talking to you about him today is that he has opened a brand new drug company, which in the USA is going to act as a pharmaceutical wholesaler for more than a hundred existing medications, which bypasses any normal middleman that would normally exist in the sales of drugs and medicines, and allows them to sell directly to the consumer or the patient. The idea being that this bypasses a lot of the inflationary costs that would come when a drug goes through each of these marketing steps, you're simply buying from the manufacturer, applying your own markup once, and then selling direct to consumer, meaning that ultimately your product is cheaper. This is a big deal, especially in America, where huge, huge numbers of people are dependent on things like insurance programs to cover their medications. Because if you're in a situation where your particular brand of health insurance doesn't cover a particular medication, or you have a really substantial deductible, which your medication is cheaper than, but still very expensive if your deductible was, say, a few thousand dollars, or a very expensive copay agreement on anything that you do pay over your deductible, medications can be extremely, extremely expensive for the average American. In fact, a Gallup poll that was conducted in September 2021 found that an estimated 18 million Americans could not afford at least one medication that their doctor had prescribed them. Now, just to be clear, why am I talking to you who are mostly watching from the UK about things that are going on in America? And it's because I think we really need to pay attention to what is going on in other parts of the world, especially as we look to be moving towards a slowly more privatized NHS. Looking at places like America that are very heavily privatized allows us to see what our world might be like if things continue on the trajectory that they are doing. So the next thing that we need to understand about how this all works is what a generic medication is. A generic, to be clear, is a drug or a medication that contains exactly the same ingredients as a branded drug or medication, which can be sold after the original chemical patents expire. For example, I could make my own formulation of a paracetamol tablet and I could make it all pretty and sell it to you for £10 a box, or you could go down to your local supermarket or your corner shop and buy their own branded generic version for 50p a box. That 50p box of paracetamol will do exactly the same as the £10 box that I sell you, it's just that the formulation may be slightly different, it may taste slightly different or have additional things put in it, but the active ingredient, that paracetamol, is exactly the same. So why is this a big deal on shop floor and why is what Mark Cuban is doing with this business so interesting? Well, because generics can be manufactured by anyone, remember that the original patents on these products have expired, so anybody can make use of them. This allows businesses like this to massively undercut the existing market price prices of the branded drugs. So an example given by Forbes in the article that I've referenced below is a drug called imatinib, which is used often as part of leukemia treatment, which at the moment has a retail price for a course of nearly $10,000. If you instead buy your imatinib from Mark Cuban's Cost Plus Drug Company, the name that he's giving to this new venture, it's yours for $47 for a course. I know which one I'd rather pick. Basically the way that they're going to make this business model work is that firstly it doesn't accept any form of health insurance, so most people in the US get their health care by paying for health insurance and billing things back to it once they've had their treatment or medicine. So instead this business is going to require you to simply pay upfront in cash, essentially for your drugs for your medicine, and the business will sell directly to you for a 15% markup plus a $3 processing fee for the pharmacist. And the way that this is rationalized is that it is still leagues and bounds cheaper than what people would pay for that medication under their health insurance anyway. And on top of that, the company seeks to barter with manufacturers at a wholesale level, so on hundreds and thousands of tablets, to further bring those costs down and decrease ultimate cost to the consumer. So I don't know what you guys are gonna think about this, it just really caught my attention as perhaps a little experiment in benevolent capitalism, <laughs> if you like. I think the long and short of it is that the company hopes this is a more sustainable way 
to bring life-saving and life-altering medications to millions of Americans. Getting those drugs into the hands of the people that need them at a much more affordable cost. So let me know what you think in the comments guys, I'd love to hear what you think about this one. I think it can be a really contentious issue, there's ethical debates to be had, there's thoughts about businesses and the pharmaceutical industry and all the rest, but do let me know down in the comments. Take care and I will see you in another video. Bye.